How do I describe Sadhguru, who once and still is my friend, that one being that is there beyond the friend, the being that is there beyond his eyes, beyond his clothes, beyond his ashram, beyond even all the love that people give him. When I walk with him and I hold him, I feel he's a child. I sense a child in him and all my being says to me, you must protect this vulnerability. And then when he leaves, I feel that there is this vulnerability that is so acute and so intense, that is so powerful that it needs no protection. By bearing himself, by giving himself to everybody and everything and every act of creation around him and merges with that which is eternal. And in that merging, there is no need for protection except in my mind. How do I protect him? So the experience of being with Sadhguru can only be described in one very inadequate, misunderstood word called love. Love not in the form that we all look at it, but love as in complete surrender. Love as in complete compassion. Love as in compassion, not for every other being, not for any time, but for every act of creation. When you get into your world, people ask you, is he your guru? And I say, no, that's just a word. Is he your friend? Of course he is, but that's just a word. Is that an ashram? Yes, it is, but that's just a word. Is Sadhguru a man that is bringing peace to the world? Yes, he is, but that's just a statement. Beyond statements, beyond love, beyond words, beyond even yearning, there lies somewhere there an access point to something that is eternal.